Assalamualaikum and a very good day class. So now we are in week 12 part 2 video which is still under topic for this series. But for today, we will go to event and odd functions. In this video class, you need to know how to determine and also sketch odd, event and no neither function. What does it mean by event functions? Event function means that if you have a function of fx, if this fx equal to f negative x, means that the function is said to be even function. So graphically, if we have this graph, for example, we can see this is x exists. So here the value of x, which is x in this domain is positive value and in this domain x is less than zero means that negative value we can see the value of f here have the same value that is for example i uh, let's say i assume this p equal to 2 and this p equal to negative 2 this negative p equal to negative 2 so here we can see for example f1 here equal to let's say equal to 1 f1 equal to 1 and then f in this part in this negative direction is f negative 1 also equal to 1 we can see here our fx equal to f negative x so that we can say that the function is even function means that in even function the graph is symmetry about the vertical axis that is symmetry with y axis so that the value of an even function for a particular negative value of x is equal for the corresponding positive value of x. For example, if we have here cos t, if you use your calculator to find cos negative t, you will got the value for, for example, here cos 1 equal to cos negative 1. You will got same value and also cos 2 equal to cos negative 2. If you use your calculator, you've got the same value. Means that we can say that ft equal to f negative t, that is cos negative t equal to cos t, so that the function is even function. And then if we have here ft which is equal to t to the power of 2, if I change this t into the negative t, I have f negative t, it will be equal to negative t to the power of 2, so equal to t to the power of 2, and this one is ft, so that we can say that this function is given function. For odd function, the definition is given by, if you have here x value, and its function f for this negative x equal to negative fx function means that we can say that the function is odd function. For example, if you have this graph, okay, the graph is actually symmetric about origin. That is here, this one is fx and then this one is f negative x. For example, you can see when we have here this point f0 also equal to negative 1 and then f0 for this part equal to 1 if we take negative for this function okay so if we take negative for this function we have negative f0 will be equal to negative 1 means that f negative x equal to f of x which is equal to negative 1, we can say that the function is what? Function. Let's say I choose one value here, which is here at uh, negative, for example, this one at negative 0 0.5. Here is 0 0.5. Means that f negative 0 0.5, the value, for example, equal to, let's say here negative 1.5 and here is 1.5. So f negative 0 0.5 equal to negative 1.5, f 0 0.5 equal to 1.5, and then if we take negative for this x positive, okay, I put negative here, means that it will be equal to negative 1.5, means that f of negative 0 0.5 equal to negative f of 0 0.5, which is equal to negative 1.5, we can say that this function is odd function. So that we can conclude, the value of an odd function for a particular negative value of x 
is same as that for the corresponding positive value of x with negative sign. So this is odd function for periodic function. And then class, for the example, we can see for the sine function is odd function because when you use your calculator, you compute f t, where is sine t, that is here sine t. And then when we compute sine negative t, you will got equal to negative sine t. That is equal to negative of this f t, means that we can say that this odd function is negative, uh, sorry, this sine function is odd function and then if i have function f t equal to t to the power of 3 and then i find here f negative t which is i will got equal to this t i change to negative negative t to the power of 3 it will be equal to negative t to the power of 3 that is this one is referred to negative of this function that is, it is equal to negative f t and it fulfills the odd function uh, property so that we can say that this f t equal to t to the power of 3 is odd function. Then class, we have one more term which is neither even no odd functions means that both are not correct. Here, if our function of negative t, it is not equal with the function of E, and also the function of negative t it is not equal with the negative function of uh, e that is this one it is not even function and also it is not odd function no, do not fulfill these two condition so that we can say that the f t is neither even nor odd example class let's say we have this function okay we check here our f negative t equal to negative t to the power of 2 minus t. So we have t to the power of 2 minus t. In this case, this one it is not equal to f t. So we can say that it is not even function. And then if we compute here negative uh, f t, okay, f, this f negative t, it is not also equal to negative f t, that is negative f t is equal to negative t square minus t. In this case, this f negative t is given by this one. Also, not equal with f negative t. Okay, this negative f t is not equal with this f negative t so that we can say that it is not fulfilled the odd function. Therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. And then class, we have the property of product of function. That is, is our f t and g t are both even function? If you have two functions that are both even function, if you multiply these two functions, we'll got it even function and then if we have f t and g t are both odd function if you multiply these two function will go also both uh this multiplication of this odd function is even function if if one of the function is even and another one is odd for example here we have f t is even function and then g t is an odd function if you multiply these two function you have got actually odd function that is f t times g t will be equal to odd function in summary we have here the even function times even function and also odd function times odd function you got here even function however if one of this function is not same that is you have odd times even or even times odd you will got here odd function and then class if we have here uh, this is property of adding even and odd function. If we have both function, f t and g t are both even function. So that here, our f t and g t is also uh, f t when we plus it with g t will go also even function. If both odd function, if you add these two odd function, you will also got odd function. However, if one of the function is even. And another one is odd function. If this even function plus with the uh, odd function, the answer for this uh, uh, the addition is neither even nor odd. 
unless one function is equal to zero. Means that here in summary we have the even function plus even function you will got even function. The odd function you plus odd function you will got odd function. However, for this odd function or either even function you plus with even function or odd function you will got neither even no odd. Now class we go to this example. Four. The question asks you by sketching and using the properties of odd and even functions, state whether the graph of f t, which is equal to t divided by t square minus one, is odd, even, or no neither. So how can we solve this problem? We need to sketch a graph. You can sketch a graph by using online software, which is GeoGebra. So we click here, GeoGebra. Here, class, we input the function. We have here f equal to t divided by t to the power of 2, which is minus 1. Now you can see this is the figure that is the graph for this function. Means that I got this graph. If I see here, it is clear that this function is odd function because it's symmetry about the origin or about x exists. If we check the property here, we have f of t equal to t divided by t square minus 1 and then if i change this t to negative i will have f of negative t will be equal to negative t divided by negative t square minus 1 that is equal to negative t divided by t square minus 1 in this case i can see that this f negative t equal to function f of t which is we put negative in front which is here if i take this one negative so i will have this one okay this function negative t divided by t square minus one equal to this one negative of this function negative t divided by t square minus one in this case we can say that when f of negative t equal to negative f of t it is actually odd function Next class, we go to this example 5. This question asks you to sketch the graph of this function and determine whether it is even or odd. In this case, we have piecewise function. That is, if I plot this function, I will have here, I start here with negative pi to 0, 0 to pi. In this case, we can see that when uh, we uh, the domain is negative pi to 0, the value is 2, that is the value of this function is 2. Let's say this is 2. And then for 0 to pi, the value is negative 2. So in this function, we can say that this one is an odd function because it is symmetry at origin. In this case, if we check using the property, we can see f of, for example, I pick pi here, f of pi equal to negative 2. And f of negative pi equal to 2. Means that in this case, f of negative pi will be equal to negative f of pi. That is, this one is, get it from the graph, it is 2, will be equal to negative, this one, negative 2. Negative 2 means that in this case, when the function f of negative x equal to negative f of x we can see that the function is odd function now class let's we go to this example six by sketching and using the properties of odd and even functions state whether the graph of f t equal to t squared is odd even or no neither so in this case again you can plot using GeoGebra. For this function, you can see clearly from the graph, when I plot using GeoGebra, the graph is symmetry x, y exists. When the graph symmetry x, y exists means that in this case, I can say that this function is even function. But I want to check using the property. Using the property, we know that f negative t should be equal to f t if the function is even function. So in this case, f negative t equal to negative t to the power of 2 which is equal to t square so this one equal to this function means that this function is even function 
Next class, we go to this example 7. Again, we need to sketch and use the properties of odd and even function to state whether this graph is odd, even, or no neither. In this case, I plot the graph using GeoGebra. And if you can see here, actually, it is not symmetry about y axis. It's also not symmetry about x axis. Means that in this case, from the graph, clearly, uh, we can see that it is no neither even or odd. And to check using properties, I find I try to find here f of negative t. That is all t here I change to the negative t. I will have 3 times negative t to the power of 3 minus negative t to the power of 2 plus 1. When I simplify this one, I will have negative 3t cubed minus t squared plus 1. If we compare this one with negative ft, for the negative ft, instead of all this, we take negative, we will have here negative 3t to the power of 3 plus t to the power of 2 minus 1. In this case, f negative t it is not equal to this negative f t, so that it is not odd. And then if we check whether this f t is it equal to f negative t, also it is not equal, means that it is not even function. In this case, we can say that the function, function here, okay, f t here is neither uh, even nor odd, means that it's not full people even and odd functions, so neither even no odd. So class, it comes to the end of week 12 part 3 video. Thank you class for your attention and I wish you all the best.